evening, Hello, guys. Good evening. What an awesome platform. In fact, you know, uh, in trainings, when trainers come into the room, he has to set the tone of the room. You know, he has to set the tone of the room, he has to uh, you know, deal with people, he has to make sure that the person should not feel bored. He needs to bore now. He needs to be bored now. So, this platform, I have experienced today that the tone is already set for the people who are coming here and speaking their heart out. So thank you very much, Suresh sir and Uma ma'am for having me here and creating this amazing platform of entrepreneurs. And let me tell you an honest feeling. The year back, I was scrolling down social media, pictures and videos, and I saw the event pictures and videos out there. And at that time, I realized that one day I will definitely come on the platform and I will come and share my keynote speech with all of you. And today I am standing here in front of you. Thank you. So that creative visualization always works as Suresh sir has rightly mentioned. अभी आठ नौ महीने पहले मैंने एमएसऑफ पब्लिक स्पीकिंग प्रोग्राम करना शुरू कर दिया। तो आप जब भी शुरुआत करते हो किसी भी काम की, कॉन्फ्रेंस ऐसे होता है, नो होता है थोड़ा सा। और ना कौन कोई काम शुरू करते हो तो आपको जो होता है ये सपोर्ट कर देता हूँ मेरे को, ये ऐसे कर देता, एक्सपेक्टेशन होती है और मेरे पास डीएस अलार्म कैमरा नहीं था। आई कॉल्ड माय कासम। मैंने कहा भाई वो इवेंट कर रहा हूँ। ये मिस फ्रॉम फ्रॉम माइक मिस हो रहा है। तो मैंने कहा भाई मैं एक इवेंट कर रहा हूँ। तो मेरे को कैमरा दे सकता है अपना एक दिन के लिए। तो सरकार लेगा, जब मर्जी लेगा। कोई टूट फूट हो जाएगी, कोई प्रॉब्लम I said, okay, I'll do my job, but I'll give you a chance to give you a chance. Thank you very much. Now, my brain was not working at that time. Because what do you do in the market in the market? So, you have to show it. You have to tell people that this event was happening, this video was happening, this video was happening, this picture was happening, this video was happening. Do you agree? Yes. So, I didn't think anything. I made a WhatsApp group for MS Talks in Delhi. Say it forward, I put a message. Does anyone have a DSLR camera? Please carry. In the event. अब थोड़ी देर तक तो किसी का मैसेज ही आया। थोड़ी देर बाद एक जेंटलमैन का मैसेज आता है। Tell you don't worry. I will come with my team and we will do the entire coverage and videography for the event. और जब मैंने उनसे पर्सनल इंटरव्यू पूछा मैंने कहा सर, लाओ इतना कुछ क्यों कर रहे हैं? मैंने I love to help entrepreneurs. And my dear friends, today that gentleman is sitting in front of me, Mr. Suresh Mangramani. I have a huge respect for this gentleman. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for being who you are. And thank you very much for remaining who you are. Friends, well, today I am here to talk about how to remain more confident. I know all of you are confident entrepreneurs. But the catch here is more confidence. Self-confidence is something we all look at especially when you are unable to when you are unable to succeed at something and confidence is not something which we have it is something which we can create and we can create it any moment of time a sense of confidence is actually a sense of power within ourselves and I have met no one and I am honest no one that who has not faced challenges in life and has not felt low in confidence in life. We all get knocked off multiple times in life. But the point is how many times we get up and pat our back ourselves. Do you all agree with the same? Yes. 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 Entrepreneurial confidence. Entrepreneurial confidence involves many decisions. Decisions you have to sometimes take by heart, but no one is sitting beside you, but no one is standing beside you, isn't it? And it takes huge amount of risk in life when an entrepreneur decides to go beyond his comfort. 
I read a similar story, and I recommend this book to all the readers here. Pour your heart into it. It is written by Howard Schultz, who is the chairman of Starbucks. Back in 1996, when Starbucks was planning to expand their business operations from United States to Japan, they were very skeptical whether to expand it or not. So they have hired a team of experts. They have paid hefty amount to that team of experts to present the report that whether they should open the stores in Japan or not. And when the team of experts came with the report, shockingly, they said if Starbucks will open stores in Tokyo, Japan, it will be the biggest mistake of their life. And there are logical reasons for that. The first logical reason was the real estate was very expensive that time in Tokyo, Japan. The second logical reason, Uma ma'am, which they gave that time was the people of Japan, they don't prefer to you know, have stand away or walk away kind of food. They want to dine in. 80% of the people, they dine in for their food. Unlike the people in US who prefer to eat or drink while walking or sitting in the car. The third reason, Jolly Sir, which they gave was most of the people in Japan, they don't prefer to drink coffee in the month of summer, in the season of summer, month of July, ago. that was the time. Reading that entire report, Howard says, okay, fine, thank you very much for submitting your reports, here is your money. So he paid the check, he paid the amount in full, and he said, get lost. Because his heart was saying something else. He was anxious that next day when CNN will come and do the coverage of entire inauguration of the store, then what will happen? Will the people turn up? And the next day at the time of inauguration, he asked his manager, how many people have turned up? He said, sir, we have around 150 plus people standing in the queue. He said, I'm sure we have not bought these people to show off in media. And manager says, no, 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 sir. These are all genuine customers. And then the first customer walked in and he said, one cappuccino latte, please. And Howard Skulls felt so glad that time because the decision which he took by heart has increased his confidence and has paid him off. So my dear friends, do what your heart sings because what your heart sings is actually a real passion which can give you immense confidence in life. Confidence is nothing but the state of mind and all of us have the power to change our state of mind. In fact, I just noticed it today here in this conference. The moment we all walked in, we were in our own thoughts. But immediately after the meditation, state of mind changed. Thought it. Peaceful. Did you all felt the same? Yeah. I felt the same. Let me share specific examples now. The first one is physiology and emotion. Any feeling in your body, fear, love, depression, and anxiety, power of possibility, wants that you should move your body, you should be in the motion. So the quickest way to get more confident is to change your physiology radically. Tony Robbins, how many of you have heard about Tony Robbins? He's the number one international speaker. Has anyone uh, attended this program, UPW? They have attended the program, fantastic. So he tells his participants to walk on the fire. The same people who are feeling less confident 15 minutes back, they feel on top of the world. They feel like we have achieved some breakthrough in the life just after 15 minutes. So how do they do that? The first is they invite people, they encourage people to walk with intensity and power which they have never experienced in life. And the second, emotion comes from motion. And the motion is everything. Your facial expressions, the way you walk, 
the way you breathe can change your motion like this and that's exactly what have happened when Tony Robbins asked people to walk on the fire. Tony Robbins says, if you have enough confidence, you can develop competence. But if you have competence, and if you do not have enough confidence, you will be never able to succeed in life. My next point is, the power of mental focus. ये होगा तो क्या होगा वो होगा तो क्या होगा अनसर्टेनिटी फ्रेंड्स अनसर्टेनिटी क्रिएट डाउट्स इन अवर माइंड एंड लेटिंग गो ऑलवेज गिव्स अस द कॉन्फिडेंस बैक डू यू ऑल एग्री डू यू ऑल एग्री लेट मी शेयर अ क्विक स्टोरी वंस अपॉन अ टाइम देर वॉज अ प्रिंसिपल देर वॉज अ फैकल्टी हु वॉज शेयरिंग वन एग्जाम्पल विद द स्टूडेंट्स holding a bottle in the hand and he says what is the weight of the bottle he asks the student one of the student says it's 500 grams sir he asks another student he says 600 grams sir and the second he says well if we haven't measured the bottle we cannot tell the exact weight isn't it let me ask you another question the faculty said what if i hold this bottle for some time in my hand and one of the student says so nothing will happen He said, "If I hold the same bottle for more than 24 hours, and then the student, another student came up and said, 'Sir, I think uh, you will have intense pain, and maybe your heart will get, hand will get paralyzed.' He said, 'I will notice that the weight of the bottle did not change. What changed was the duration, the time I hold the bottle in my hand.'" so the lesson he was trying to give to the students to this metaphor was that bottle is like holding your thoughts of problems challenges adversities depression and anxiety about uncertainty if you want to gain confidence you have to quickly stop thinking about the thing this is one of the major challenges with people that you know whenever they do something they start thinking about uncertainty they start thinking about what will happen ab kya hoga and that's exactly people get stuck do you all agree on the same yes yes uh, all right the next example specifically to gain confidence is progress progress comes from growth how many of you agree in fact success comes from confidence and confidence comes from growth and growth comes from action and action comes from self talk if you have positive self talk happening with you you will gain tremendous confidence i request all of you that i'm going to do one activity activity with all of you now and i request all of you to please close your eyes everybody please close your eyes till my next instructions i request please do not open your eyes and i want all of you to think about your future your major goal what is your major goal think about your major goal hope your goal will be achieved hope your goal will be achieved hope your goal will be achieved hope 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 Oh don't open your eyes so don't open your eyes now i want you to have a change in the state of mind i want you to feel that you're definitely you're definitely going to achieve that goal you're going to achieve that goal definitely definitely you're going to achieve that goal definitely 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 achieve that goal you're almost there definitely you're going to achieve that goal definitely 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 stop you can open your eyes i have a question for all of you did you felt any change in your body did you felt any change in the way you were visualizing when you were hoping and when you were feeling that this is going to going to happen definitely did you felt the change in fact in my trainings when i do this activity with the participants 
my participants give me a feedback. They say, sir, when you said that hope, hope about your goal, we we are unable to see the picture. The picture is blurred. It's unclear. But the moment you say, definitely you are going to achieve the goal, we see the picture more clear. It's visible. So is it fair to say that hoping is passive and definite action, definitely are going to happen is active. In fact, whatever thoughts we have in our mind, we create different neuro associations. And when we create those neuro associations in mind, the mind is actually not sure what is happening. It could be pleasurable, it could be painful. So the moment you focus on one single thought and you think about that, okay, fine, this is what I'm going to do. It's going to give me a lot of pleasure. And the mind says, hey, that's giving me a lot of pleasure. That's giving me a lot of pleasure. Let's do it. Let's do it. And that is where you gain more and more confidence. So, eventually, I would like to say one quote by Earl Nottingham. He says, success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal. One of the finest motivation speakers of all times in the world, Earl Nightingale. He is emphasizing on two things, ladies and gentlemen. The first is worthy goal. The second is progressive, progressive realization, progress. So he is also emphasizing on progress. Share, shake hand with the person left on right and say, I am confident and I think progress. Please do that right now. I'm confident, I think progress. I'm confident, I think progress. I'm confident, I think progress. Thank you very much. Just quickly reiterate, just to quickly reiterate what we have discussed today. The first point was entrepreneurial confidence. The second point was physiology and emotion. The third point was power of mental focus. And the fourth point was progress. On this note, my dear friends, I want to thank all of you for being wonderful listeners and I want to express my gratitude to Uma Ma'am and Suresh for having me here and giving me this opportunity to, to share my thoughts with all of you and I am 100% sure, let me tell you, I am thanking this by heart again Uma Ma'am, I am 100% sure that this platform will launch the IPO very, 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 very soon and we all will be part of it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.